and see if we can figure out this uh, this case. Ghost Trick, old Capcom game that released for the DS, originally for the DS. And now it's seeing a revival. Ooh, Unreal Engine. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, RE Engine, not Unreal Engine. Oh, cool. Game uses auto saves. Please do not close the game when auto save icon is displayed on the top left. I feel like I should um maybe check out the link for this. Pre-order now. Copy the URL. This is Ghost Trick. It's so dark here. We've been playing games in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Spooky games in the dark. How much better can it get? There we go. Link to the chat. This is Ghost Trick. Um... We'll probably play a little bit of this. Probably won't go all the way through the demo. Unless it's a quick demo, but... Oh, full version available. Nice. Yeah, the buttons for this... In terms of UI design is, uh... Definitely spruced up from what it used to look like. Higher res. No jaggies. That's quite nice. Oh, we can't adjust the sound? Controls. Apparently we gotta sign into Steam to adjust the controls. It's quite weird. Display. Oh. Screen resolution. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are the Xbox. Seems to detect the, um, the PC keyboard as well. Oh, I think we gotta click on it in order to, uh... Oh, what is this? Controls. X, open up records. View your own through... Wait, view your own thoughts bubbles. Move view, select options. Hold to automatically advance messages. Was. Switch to ghost view. Manipulate object, trick. Alright, this is um, all the keys I gotta remember. X. G was R escape H and C. This is an Xbox One version. PS4, Nintendo Switch, nice. Chapter 1. Must have been unconscious for a while. Man, this starts out the same way as the, um, the 3DS game. Or is it 3DS or DS? Yeah, so around the time when, uh, they had Zack and Wiki on the Wii. <laughs> but like the big font that they have for this one. Yeah. yeah. I remember this cinematic, the light just points to the, uh, to our main guy here. Sitting in a, 
such a, a funny way. It's just gotta be me, no question about that. Some good comedy in this, too. I remember trying to figure out this puzzle. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? I'm dead. There's no time to be lolling around dead. I feel like they, they might have changed some text around, but we'll see. You're the only one who can save her. Well, what the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introduction, Dale. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. It sort of reminds me of the, um, like the fairy companions in, this, in the Zelda series. Where it just communicates with Link. And the ghost itself, it's like... It's kind of like a fairy. <laughs> Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. Oh, that's a fairy. Do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. Core? Hmm. Just looked like a railroad crossing gate to me. Look at the best way... Wait, look. The best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul with wands. Next, move your soul across to connect with the core. Okay. Oh. Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. It took me a while to, to figure it out, too, back on the, uh, the old system. So, what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Um, now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? But before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Now I'll use a chance, press E. Ooh. Hold it. Well played. What? What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated an object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform a trick like that is to press E. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun point at her. Yes, hmm, uh, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghosts, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it? Perform a trick with it, eh? Oh yeah. Now you're getting it. Let's move to the next step. Try by setting a different core. I see a guitar then, is it? Hmm. <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball that... That would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. I guess I can't reach cores... That are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's see, let's set the time in motion again and find out. Or I drop it on his head or something. Let me try that again. So long, sister. Right, proceed. Who's there? Nice. Hold it. Oh, that's gotta be somewhere. So it's the slowest running away I've ever seen. Now, I feel like the, uh, the E button would be, um, a way to continue the dialogue, but we have to press the, um, the mouse click. Ghost trick, mouse click. Ghost trick, mouse click. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, 
what core is close enough to possess it from here? So I noticed that the um, the game view, this would be the screen size of the 3DS, but like blown up and with higher res images, uh, the, even the text box is uh, sorted out, less, pic less pixelated. Uh, they probably resized the font as well. And, and then they added the borders around the side so that there's, you know, other information like the escape pause button there. And then, yeah, it's nothing else. It's just the borders. Just to have that widescreen, a full widescreen. So this was definitely DS title. But, you know, if they were to port another DS game in the future, I'm trying to think of another Capcom game. Maybe the Mega Man series, uh, there's the Battle Network ones that were on the DS, I think. And they're porting those and they could have borders uh, on the sides just to give it that widescreen to play on the Switch. You know, Switch would be widescreen. I guess all there is, is me. No time to be picky. I've got a, war a woman to save. I like your attitude, it's admirable, truly, but... But what? You know, the guy also reminds me of the way he's designed. He's got the yellow hair and stuff. He's got like a sort of Captain Commando sort of look. But I think Captain Commando, his, his hair is more like slicked back. Better at all. He's also got the sunglasses just like that. Today and yesterday, it just happens to be sunglasses day. We were playing Monster Hunter. I put on a um, like the B outfit. That had the sunglasses on. More like shades, but if I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be just then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright. Now we can set time in motion. Go ahead and try eat. Uh, nothing's happening. Oh, the space key apparently is, um, it's also the click. Exactly, Saba true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> His face. But wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. It wants to move it in any direction you want. Oh, there's some machine here. Big moon? Look how low res the moon is. How was that? Whenever you want to see what's going on somewhere, just move the screen. Okay, I got it. Right now, I want to see what's happening in that orbit. Of course. Well, you know what to do then. Move the screen and see you can find her. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. It reminds me of uh, April O'Neil. Very smooth animations. Get out of my way. <laughs> He's gonna get what's coming. This guy's uh, design is reminds me of the uh, Joker from The Adventures of Batman Robin, which was the follow up to uh, Batman the Animated Series. I'm on my way. <laughs> In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? Just as I was thinking this. Oh. 
Pixar. <laughs> Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ah, ignore me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I say. Ah, so was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do too much. Too much good? He still ended up just as dead as before. That's true for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think I, we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman laying there? Like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. I have a more ghost lesson for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? And once you've done that, I'll tell you another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I knew her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on an invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around, discarded like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time. Okay. But G. That thought bubble you just, you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. What are you saying to yourself in your head? Wait, what you're saying to yourself? My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then. In order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. Q is your ticket in. Best thing to do is try it. Kiwi, get some present. Oh, can't reach him. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? it? Tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently processing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of folding cot, it looks like I'm unfolded. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of living. Okay. This time, Caesar take it out of the girl's world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? Ghost world. Oh, can't reach anymore. Oh, can't reach it. a wheel there. Oh, 
Oh, I could probably ring the phone. Trick. That's funny. What is? I don't know that thing was supposed to like fold out. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. Something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody. Wait, not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those ways are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and ma manipulate them, right? Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing. Because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, but you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try and see? Trick time. Ghost. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she is unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came back to your senses? When you came to your senses, you've been unconscious too. Huh, unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the dust lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's see her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure. You can make it, you make it sound easy. And it is easy. When you use her power on a corpse, you can go back to the past and it's to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Go back through time? That's right. But there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day, and she's still well within that time limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is so crazy. None of this makes sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, hey. wait a sec. I still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. All right, rewind time. So now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but a very real living present. Oh, she's got red hair. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. I got an idea. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Again, I still have the lights out. 
try and reach for my drink. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub it all wait, rub all out the last traces of Timzik left in his country or country. Timzik? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as the bad boy Wrecking Ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. What if I chose the bike? What, what do I would do? A shotgun? What kind of flashy weapon for Hitman, don't you think? Kind of a flashy... Yeah, we had a shotgun in the, the previous game, too. Not flashy, just thorough. They call me Nearsighted Jigo. But I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. <laughs> Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. Woman toyed with, with by fate and a man toyed with by ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks, just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick? You can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. So, this is four minutes to go, hey? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. The corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. Okay. No time to lose. Come on, let me move. Time is passing. Of course time is passing. Right side. Tiger. What will the tire do? What would the mannequin do? I've got. Yeah, bring it up, okay. Hmm. Seems to roll the same way. Hmm. 
Whoa. Collect. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? Oh yeah. It's like it's like Black Back to the Future, but you gotta solve through spirits. Yep. I think we can probably uh, activate the fan, right? We go down. Oh, wait. Oh, that was awesome. I thought I was supposed to be able to flag upward or something. Just a few more steps. Hope I can make it in time. Cool. We got up to the bike. There isn't much time left. This is coming out in a battle of seconds. Trick time! Battle. Time is almost up. You have to change the fate before it counts out to reach a zero. Hmm, time doesn't pass while I'm in the girl's world. Ghost world. I'd better possess something fast. Damn it! What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. Ooh. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Noise. Let's make your time. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is up. Trick time. You hear something? Extend. Retract. Oh wait, I gotta sing it. Three seconds. Oh, look at the bike. Wow, he just disappeared. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's on the ball. Wow. Three seconds remain. How does that feel to save a lady's life? 
So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. Use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? He most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted. <laughs> so I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. Alright, back to the ultimate timeline, I guess. When I came back to the present, it was raining. Man, wouldn't it be perfect if I had to start this demo a little sooner? Because we were getting uh, thunderstorms earlier. We're going to be experiencing rain like throughout the entire, the entire week. Alright, um, not sure how, lo how much longer this demo is going to be, but I feel like uh, we could probably play for a little bit longer and then, then we'll probably uh, close out. see where this goes also this is the exact same demo as the um, the one on the the DS I had to say the life of the stranger now sitting forlornly forlornly in the rain even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end it's an umbrella up there oh a stranger that word strike the chord and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. Can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most importantly of all, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. Oh my gosh, um, where did I... Oh, I'm thinking about the, um, the Stingray in, um, a different game. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness, <laughs> Ray, huh? Are you going to tell me your real name? I take it. So you aren't going to really... Oh, wait. So you aren't going to take tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet. Either, actually. I, I, I can't remember. Yes, I, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to be a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid, you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute, these powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? You'd have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lap. Why a desk lap anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpse. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until the morning. Tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping to my own death? In the morning I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The last story of my fate right up to the time of my death. Until I learn that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death. And as well as you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can't even imagine what the first step would be. First step? That's easy. You start with her. Person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes. Say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight, in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. 
key to everything. What do you mean? You know, soon enough, when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some of my record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press X to view a record of what you learned. Be sure to check it out now and then. Now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Updated phone book. Alright then, I wish you good luck. Alright, so there's a phone book, memories. You look at people. Redheaded target. Woman at the scene of death. Ray of light. Calms itself Ray. And Hunter in the Dark. That's all the profiles we got so far. Junkyard. Place where I lost my life. Appears to be a junkyard. Outskirts of town. Maybe I'll use the, uh... Wait... Claw, no. Shimmy. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Looks like she's saying something to herself. Unfortunately, I can't hear it from here. That's no problem for ghosts like us, as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do with your own thought bubbles. If you tap on the thought bubbles on the living, you can listen in on what they're thinking. Maybe I'll just take a little listen, then. Always watch for that thought bubbles for a living. They might give you something important, or some important clues. When it will just happen? Cray move all by itself, and then... Big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> My goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. <laughs> Walks away unharmed. Maybe she'll make that phone call. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cat, 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 cat. With an odd tail. Red scarf. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Examine. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a, re a read. So you don't remember writing it? No, I don't remember writing it. But even more importantly... Ring, ring, ring. Hm. I didn't get a chance to read that note. I'm not sure I'm your train of thought, but I wonder if you realize where this telephone call is coming from. Huh. How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't the telephone call come in at around this time too? Oh yeah.
bad telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment on the other end of this telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Oh man. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get it? Who is this? Um, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> well, trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like me to go? You would like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We go stick or exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances, and that would be the dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Nice. Say what? I've done all I can to do, wait, all I can to do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me. I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used my most used up most of my reimagining or remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. Trusting you in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find tr this truth. Grateful to you, wait, grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist, that doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I needed to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. If you succeed in that, if you if you succeed in doing that, you have done what I asked anyway. The two are the one. Wait, the two are one and the same. One and the same. Hmm. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's phone number. The rest is all up to you. System 1729. You got a phone number. Nice. Whoa. This is like, um. What's that other one that uh, traveled through phone line? I think it was Shocker. Classic Wes Craven. I used to watch that a lot as a kid. Yeah, can we travel through like phone lines or anywhere with this like, electricity? Um, it's like a serial killer on the loose. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going on to, what is going to happen in this town tonight? Save data. Here we go. I think. Uh, I think with that, we'll, um, we'll exit for now. Chapter select. Chapter one. Chapter two. Oh. I wonder if this this uh, demo save file would carry over to the full version once we have the full version. Um, at least for this system, for Steam. Alright, so that was Ghost Trick. I'm gonna end it here. This is getting late. Quite a long session. We first started out with... The Mute House. Did a replay of it. Spent a good, like, two hour... Two and a half hour session, I think. Yeah, more like two hour session. And then um, then we hopped on to Ghost Trick. Which is the, the Capcom game. 
But yeah, I may just split this session to two parts. And then I'll port it over to YouTube. I think the stream will still be archived for uh, the live tab or page on, on YouTube and also on Twitch. Um, then I'll also split... Oops, I hit the, the thing again. I'll also split the... Um, the videos individually I think from a mute house and then in ghost trick separately uh, just to categorize a little more but I don't know or else I, I could just like keep it all together it's okay all right um so yeah I think that's it um tomorrow's Thursday I could hop on to uh, an older game but I'll have to think about it uh, to to figure out what it, what it is that I kind of want to maybe feature for tomorrow Thursday. It's gonna be a throwback Thursday, so that means back to playing older games again. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Zelda is still coming up for the weekend, so we'll see um, how that goes. Hopefully, we have more time to play more Zelda. All right. Thanks all for drawing, uh, dropping on in. I shall be heading off for now. Have yourselves a wonderful night and our day. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.